Hi guys, so today I have a video sponsored by Tonic to share with you. This is for their new uh, craft kit for the month. And this is the Country Apron Craft Kit. So uh, they did send these items free of charge from my review. And of course, all opinions are my own. Any links down in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. So for the uh, craft kit, if you're not familiar, there's a sub kit, the subscription box. Um, or you can also pick it up as a one-off purchase, the one-off... Um, has a certain price because you're just picking it up the one time, you know, and you're not signing up. But if you sign up for the subscription uh, service, you would get a discount on that. And 10% um, off your purchases whenever you use the code TCK if you're an active club member, of course. So, um, I am really excited to look at this because <laughs> it's so cute. Country apron, I mean, you guys can imagine. Uh, let's check this out. So, we have our... Photopolymer stamp set, super cute, it has from the kitchen of, your special day, from the garden of, which is really sweet, happy Father's Day, it's your day, grandma's kitchen, just for you, I mean lots of baked with love, happy Mother's Day, so just from reading that you're going to know that the apron has different um, occasions, you know what I'm saying, different things that you can pop in here, so oh my gosh, already, I just pulled this out and you can see all like the little spatulas and stuff, but then there's also like the um, tongs and like a barbecue like fork kind of thing, so let's look at this and I'm sorry about the lighting because whenever something's shiny it wants to get darker um how sweet is this oh my goodness okay oh and there's like a piece of box here I don't know if you see that that's to make like a little box so I'm assuming you can put this just on our you know card front if you would like but if you want to make it into like a little gift box you can do that too let me see something let me uh, measure sorry guys oh that lighting uh, let me measure this guy because this looks like the outer apron and then we have some inserts so let's see how big this is it's about four and a half, just four and three eighths <laughs> and by about three and an eighth or so um, on the apron itself so let's check this out hold on so like this apron has an insert that you can use this piece well that wouldn't be the insert but let's see it has the stitching so this piece got this would lay in there if you wanted to mat into that and it has an insert that has like the diagonal stripe which is really cute very classic um this one also has an insert that does like the little lace so you can either have this negative piece or use that piece or just use this outer piece along with this guy or however you want to you know pop it in um look at the little pocket oh my gosh um, the little <laughs> stitching on that with a little lace on the outside, so those are two separate pieces. We have the apron, um, kind of like, well, strings or however you want to do it on this back side. So as you can see, you have this piece there and it matches up completely perfectly. There's like another pocket, this uh, larger kind of scallop that goes along with that pocket, however, if you want to mix and match them. We have little heart, uh, hearts, what am I talking about? <laughs> Flowers and stars. There are hearts there over here. The little flower inlays, so these aren't quite inlays because they cut their own edge and the inside, but you can layer that on top of this when you're done with that. The little mitts, oh my gosh, and there's a left and a right one. <laughs> How cute. Um, and then just like little sprigs, super adorable, little flowers, um, scissors, you know, screwdriver, you get a wrench, you get the hammer, the little trowel. Oh my gosh, you guys, the little forky guy. Um, I always forget the name of that one. Spade. No, this is a spade, huh? It's a trowel. I guess you can use it either way. Anyway, super cute. And then this box piece that has like also inserts. So it has an insert on this one that you can decorate with. So what I'm assuming is since we have the one piece is like let's say we have our little guy you're going to cut two of these and then you would glue this you know lay turn it so that this middle piece glues one on top of the other so now you're going to have a piece of flap on both sides and as you fold it you fold it so it goes up you know down the side along this side and then back up this way so cute oh my gosh okay so that's the meat and potatoes let's check out some of our other items and I do have a list of the paper names, I'm sorry I don't have it with me right now, but um, on the link, whenever they have it, it'll say there exactly the names of the papers that you're receiving here, so uh, when I get to the paper. But for now, we have Glitter Accents in Winter Cranberry, a nice big bottle. So that's the glittery one, you can see it's red. We have a smooth flowing glitter marker called the Nouveau Glitter Markers, and this is Fired Brick. And these are very glittery, they're really nice, they are water based. They work best on porous surfaces like papers and things. You can use it on something slick, but it might come off later. So um, definitely for me, that's more of a paper product um, embellishment. Uh, Nouveau Chalk Mousse adds metallic dimensional details. And this chalk mousse dries kind of like a powdery, like chalk, like what you would think chalk would look like. So really pretty. Uh, delicate blue. 
Oh yeah, this is awesome. So we have some. Uh, oh, that is so cute, especially with the apron, because you could use this as accent, or you can use it as the apron, like uh, string behind the neck, the neck strap, however you want to put it, or off the sides, right, to make it look like the the ribbon that comes out of the other around your waist. This one's called Chili Red. It's a double satin, five meters of three millimeter. So if you can see, it's kind of like the thinner type. Oh, this stuff's so cool. Shimmer powder. So this is uh, Catherine Wheel, it's called, and it's a reddish shimmer powder. But I don't know if you can see with the shimmer powders, what happens is it's not just what you see. They'll be like little, like here you can see like that little kind of gold splotches. So you can see that. Sorry about my cuticles. They are in winter mode. They're so bad right now. Um, this is the Dream Drops. I love the Dream Drops. They have like a really nice like a pearlescent look. I wouldn't say shimmer. It's more of a pearlescent look to them. Uh, lemon Twist. And maybe you can see that as I'm holding it. I don't know. So really cute. Lots of drops. Lots of funny. Oh, look at this. Uh, Pure Sheen and Prism Pink. Oh. So they have another one similar that I just love. <laughs> I think it's uh, Pink Tutu or something like that. It has a very girly name. And I was wondering what's the difference here. So Prism Pink, I don't know if you can see that, it has a prismatic look to it. And it's my favorite color, like the other sequins I like to use over there. So this is a really sweet, gorgeous little bottle. And let's see what we have here. As our papers. So a really nice folder. You can definitely upcycle this if you would like. I'm going to put that to the side because of that shine, again, makes my camera a little bit crazy. It was a bit of a loud noise outside. Look how pretty this paper is. Oh my gosh. Oh, the kit also comes with a little sticker that you can put on your um, little folder that goes into the binder, this folder over here. I don't have it here to show you, but just so you, uh, you know, because it does have these little flowers on it, really cute. So two sheets of that gorgeousness. We have this kind of Dahlia paper, which is just absolutely beautiful. Love it. It's like that handmade paper. This is a pearlescent kind of lemony yellow okay, it's color. It's just a weird time in the winter when my lighting wants to be funny. But anyway, it's like a pearlescent kind of yellow. We have this beautiful coral and the classic card. And again, all the names would be there for you. But it's this really pretty kind of light blue. Look at this one. You know, I love these kind of papers. That beautiful floral print. Oh my gosh. Just gorgeous. These are white on the back. It's a speciality card. Beautiful pink, pearlescent. And then next up is a really, really nice uh, matte kind of fiery red color. Matte metallic, should I say. And this one is a nice cardstock. It looks like it's a little bit off white, possibly. Um, we have a gorgeous red classic card and you know tonic they have several different reds in classic card I don't know the exact same name of this one, but I'm sorry It'll be there in the listing and I should have pulled it up for you guys and then we have a gold metallic glitter So let me think about what I want to do um, I'm thinking a card because it's you know But at the same time I'll show you kind of how you would build it up if you want to make it into the little gift box Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so before we get started I'm gonna, probably going to make it a two size card again eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter, but I'm gonna put it to the side for now. I do want to quickly show you if you wanted to make it into a little gift kind of box. You know, looking at it, this is gonna make amazing shakers because you have a lot of room to run your little shaker, with little foam, without it being too tight or problematic. Plenty of room there to make a shaker real easily, so it's really sweet. Um, let's see. I do want to show you just. I just got a scrap paper. Uh, what I'm going to do is cut out two of these guys, or run through that through to get two of them and two of these. And I'm going to keep it all the same color just to show you right quick how you would assemble. Excuse me, I was going to misspeak. Just to show you real quick how to make like a little gift box from it if that's what you wanted to do. So I'll run through, you know, this is an 8.5 by 11 piece paper. You're easily going to get the whole project on the one piece. But I will, you know, if you want to put it a little closer, then you would have more room. Maybe get a couple extra ones or a couple extra pieces off this one if you're making several of little uh, guys. But either way, I'm going to cut two of this and two of this, and I'll be right back. Okay. Just remove this. Do those two and these two. So as I mentioned before, so I'm going to go ahead and fold this just to get it ready because that's what I like to do. I'm doing this really quickly just so you have the idea. Um, so on this one, you wouldn't cut off the whole tab. You still need that tab because the other side of it is what's going to give you the other glue tab. So you're just going to glue them together like this. Alright, so we have those two pieces, sorry. Like that. And we're going to glue one into the other. 
And then we have a front and back with our little aprons. Now, I suppose if you wanted to, you could just use one apron and just have a little box in the back. But it needs to stick to something, right? So you need to have the, uh, the back piece. Sorry. Um, yeah, so there it is. But like I said, you still need that back piece. So basically you need to have the front and the back. Unless you fashion something else that you want, you know. So this piece goes down here up to the edge and right up to the edge and they made it so it's perfectly fitting in there. How cute is that? So let me measure this just so you know the width on that box would be about one and a half inches wide and then the height is um, like two and three eighths or so. So just right quick I'll just glue this down and then we do the same thing with the back. So I always feel like to put the glue right on the very bottom edge making sure that's nice and lined up. And I'm using wet glue because I think they keep up longer with a dimensional, with anything really, but especially with like a 3D type box. And here I can put the glue on the tabs or I can just put it on the very edge of this. So I think what I'm going to do, just put some right to the very edge. Bring that guy in and bring this guy in. And as I sit them down, I can see that I'm right on that edge, just to make it nice and nicely finished. And this guy, I'll stick it down. How adorable is that? <laughs> okay, pretty cool. All right, got that one. And on this back piece, now, you know, this is up to you. Do you want to put the glue and then just hold it down completely? Or, again, just start with one of the edges. I'm just going to put it all down and do it all at once. Glue right down to the very edge. And then this guy facing also right side facing out. You don't want to put it this way because then that's the rough cut. So it looks nice on both sides and you can decorate both sides. Or just the one side, but at least the back side will look finished, right? So I'm just trying to make sure I have this lined up nice. And the base. Okay, and I'll just hold these pieces right here and right here and I'll be right back okay and there is your basic box so you have you, know, you can put your little strap on there and then you know, just decorate it up and then it has decorations for either side right those little inlays and things so really sweet just want to show you right quick how you would put that together okay so for this little guy there's a lot going on so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the apron I don't know how many embellishments I can use because I want to use this pretty paper as a background because like why not, right? So I'm going to pop that on there. So I'm going to cut this down to probably four and an eighth by five and three eighths to map my card. Um, and then let's look at our beautiful pieces here. So we have these pieces. So again, super easy to make a shaker out of this. You know me, I was debating if I should do that or not. But for now... Uh, I'm just going to make a card without the shaker, but again, you can make that shaker insert super easy. Um, we have this little cutie that makes the lace, so I think I'm going to make a very girly one this time around. And so I'm going to take these things here, very just sweet and feminine. So I'm going to do a background piece with that. And then we can also just inlay this, so this would all be whatever inlay color if you want the lace. Um, you don't have to do that, you can do this guy with the inlay, right? You're going to cut it separately, obviously. As you can see, they would touch each other. We don't want that. But you would cut this and then this, which I'll probably do today, so you'll see what I mean by that. Um, that piece can also then um, mat over that. So I need a piece for this background. I want the floral and then this, and then we'll decorate from there. So just for now, let's pick some colors. So I'm going to make one that's just completely... Um, trying to think if I want this okay I'm gonna make this one that mats over this the floral okay so this floral paper if I can get it we're gonna cut that little guy out okay just like that and then I need a color to go around that so I think I'm gonna use the pink because I really just love pink I'm gonna use that with this kind of coral color here okay so that's gonna be that guy and then this one we need to cut again and then inlay it and I want that to just be kind of pristine and white or this you know off-white color so I'm gonna use this guy really nice thick paper here and what we're gonna do is then cut this and I will be back to show you what I need to do with that for it to look like lace so cut this cut this this from the coral paper and then I'll use the inlay in just okay. a second so I have my card base just like I said I was gonna do 
four and eighth by five and three eighths, and I'll just glue that down. And then we have these pieces. So, little guy, this pretty lady, and then we'll cut our little neck, you know, the little area here. But we're gonna have this on top of this, and then within that, I'll have this little lacy bit. So what I'm gonna do is take this piece. We're just gonna pop this on top and tape it down and run it through and it should theoretically cut me a little kind of lacy frame. Again you do the same thing if you want to do a shaker um, I would just cut either this larger one depending on what you want to do right how you're layering it or this guy you know, with the clear acetate so it's a nice solid piece and this next one that you cut down will make the shaker frame right but you need acetate to go behind it, so I would use the size that you need, right? Depending on what you're doing with your project. So let's tape that down and tape this down. I'll run this through and I'll be right back. Okay. Look at that. And then you still have this piece. Again, you can use this negative piece for something else or however. But, oh my goodness. So, there's that and that and this one. And I think I'm just going to layer these all up and then we'll play with the little pocket and what we might add here. Or pockets or whatever is that we end up doing. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. So, this is just this basic part of it. And then we'll add our little embellishments. And then I'll just put some glue on this very edge. All around the edge here and pop that right here. Okay, so we have our card base, we have our little apron. Oh my gosh, it's gonna go on here somehow. Uh, super sweet. I think I'm gonna go with the baking theme. I don't know, because <laughs> there's so many sweet things in here. I did pull out some paper though, because if I do the baking theme instead of like the, you know, little floral things or things that you might use in the garden, um, I think what I wanna do is like the rolling pin, of course it is adorable, and the wooden spoon and the whisk so cute oh my gosh should i just put those three let me think if i use this larger pocket to hold this stuff i'm not sure which one i'm using so cute okay that's what i'll do i think i need one more item i like threes you know i three this and fives and they do have things for five and six even if you see i mean these things can also be um, use for baking or not or however the little spatula. I think I'm going to do these three. I'll do these two on this piece of craft cardstock that I just pulled out of my um, stash and I have like this little silver paper. I'm going to use the little whisk. And then um, for these accent pieces we're going to take the pockets and things. I'm going to make them basically coordinate back to this but I'm trying to think if I want to do... So I'm going to use this one in the cream color because it has that little lace. So that same uh, off-white that we used earlier, I'm going to cut this guy. I'm going to cut this guy from the um, little coral color, so that'll be the pocket. And then those little bits that we just did. Um, the apron string here, I will also cut from the off-white, just to give it a little different color, so it's more noticeable. And I might cut out some of the little gloves right now, I'm not sure. But I will be right back. Okay, guys. Oh, So we'll stick these little pieces together here since we can do that right now oh it's so cute with the little stitching on there and everything so let's glue these guys together adorable so to me the lace goes right on the back side of this but if you want to stick the lace down then put the items in between there but to me it feels like that's the whole pocket on its own so I'm just going to do this first and then stick whatever the little items that's really sweet it's a really nice size I think how I want to do this. Look at that. <laughs> so cute. So you know what I'm saying? I'll put these in the back. Now these can also be popped up. But I think I'm just going to glue it down. Actually what I'm going to do is glue it down as a pocket. <laughs> so that way I can still put the items in that I want. Back in there. So cute. And then we have this little guy. I wanted to see if this is thin enough to go through this hole. Ooh, okay. I think we can do it. You have to be very careful if you want to pop that in through this way. 
or you just pop them here or you pop it in the back you see you still see the little hole or this way or pop it in which I think might be a little bit tricky you can do it just kind of carefully pull it through look at that <laughs> how cute I'll do the same thing with the other side oh. I'm just kind of carefully pushing that through letting the paper give a little bit oopsie I think that closer to me okay so you know if you want to do that if you don't then don't just you can pop it in the back or however it is how adorable okay so we have that we have this I think I'm just gonna glue it down I'm wondering if I should let this kind of do its own thing which I like to do sometimes on cards just let it you know have some movement so maybe I don't stick down that portion and I am definitely gonna make it go like this like things being off to the side and fun and we have this little guy and this little guy <laughs> so cute and this one so I've had that guy sticking out there and this one here of course a rolling pin I wouldn't put it in my pocket in real life but this is too cute <laughs> look at that and again you have lots of tools we can put in here I'm just going to take a moment to kind of glue those down. And then I'll see about um, our sentiment. <laughs> so cute. Okay. So that's that. Now let me think about what I want to do as far as the sentiment. And then cut out those little gloves I had mentioned before and I'll be right back. So I have this little guy here. I'm going to take that cream color that came out of that center. I'm probably going to die cut it with this die cut. Actually this one also can cut out a lot of the sentiments. Or you can put the sentiment right on the pocket. I don't know if you can see like they all pretty much fit. So if you want to bake it with love or happy Mother's Day or you know, thanks a bunch. Whatever it is that you're going to pop in there. They pretty much fit there. I think I'm going to do bake with love. And then what's really sweet, you know, on the back of the card from the garden of, or from the kitchen of, or on the front, however you, wherever so you want to put that. But let's do fake with love, and I guess I'll go with black. Sometimes when I do something soft like this, I'll use like brown ink, but let's just... And these are photopolymer stamps, so a lot of times you want to get them primed, ready for stamping. Um, sometimes I have like a little stickiness, but that looks really, really good for now. I'm just going to stamp that. Look at that. Gorgeous. I'm always versifying ink. I'm going to let it set up a little bit, but I am going to go ahead and kind of eyeball where I'm going to put this. That looks pretty nice. Just <laughs> stick that down. And then over here I have a little set of... The little mittens ready to be cut or mitts um, from just a scrap piece that was left behind here okay I'll be right back okay guys I also cut some little hearts with that heart die um, from the back of this paper and the paper that we had cut the little apron from Let's see if we can use those some way here in our project let me get this off of here Oh, so cute with that stitching. Perfect. Okay, so we have that little guy. I was pretty much going to pop this here, and then we have our little gloves that maybe we can play with, like holding that. And then we have our little hearts. So let me see how I want to arrange this. I'm not sure if I'm going to put these on here, like that it's holding it. That'd be really cute. And then popped up, of course. Okay, so maybe something like this. Sorry, I got something in my throat and figured I might as well just take that moment to uh, go ahead and arrange what I want to do here, just for fun. And then I'll pop that up, but for now I just want to see how that looks. So let's put this little guy here. And this little guy. one 
Make it look like it's holding like a little tray or something. Okay, and then I'll put some dimensional adhesives on the back of this and I'll be right back. So this piece is not stuck down as you can see. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so we have our little guy, so cute. Just gonna pop this on here. Just kind of seeing where I want to put it. So really fun. I went ahead and, you know, uh, we have lots of fun things to embellish with in the embellishments. But since the background has a lot of movement already and everything else I put here, but really fun to use the uh, sequence for shakers, you know, add some glitter here and there and all those other fun things that came in there. But there it is. So thank you so much, Tonic, for sponsoring this video, for sending these items for a review. And uh, I'll have some images for you guys coming up, and I'll have the links in the description box. And I will see you guys at the next one. All right, guys. Bye now. Thank you.